Where are we going then? Uh, we're going to get our final issue of the Seeker Strength graphic tees for this lodge. So what you're seeing now is the t-shirt printing machine being run by Dara from Harry Baby. Yes, there is another Dara in the world. Uh, and that's the white t-shirt on the left, black t-shirt on the right, obviously. This is a pretty amazing piece of kit. So Garf, what's your favourite part of this machine? The just the sheer automation of it really. It's so pleasing to watch. Yeah. It's like uh it's like if your printer at home printed on any piece of clothing you ever wanted, but it also had a plastic front of it so you could see. Two hundred and fifty thousand euro cost. <laughs> and he said he needs to get another one of them. Yeah. Each bottle of ink was six hundred euro. Yeah, it's absolutely insane. The other class thing is there's like a vape machine in it. Because that's to be a controlled humidity level in the machine. Oh, did he say that? Yeah. Oh, Do you know what it looked like it? there was smoke in it? Yeah, I didn't miss that now. Uh, that would make sense, though. Yeah. I think it was it was definitely vaping more last time we were there. So maybe the uh, the current humidity in Ireland is humid enough for printing on T-shirts. What I just want to say about this is that it's insane that this is where like technology has taken us. Yeah. You know, several hundred years ago, if you suggested this to someone that humans be making things like this... You'd be like, what? Wait, how would they even go about doing it? Burn him, he's a witch, you know? <laughs> flash cures the shirt okay. so it bonds the ink to the fabric and it evaporates the fixation that we laid down before it the great advantage of the rest of the it doesn't crack and break okay you know the way you'd have a yeah. screen printed t-shirt yeah after a while it starts yeah. to degrade and break down and get all cracky it doesn't happen with this uh, it's great um retention in these prints you can stretch them and kind of okay. keeps the shape so. the class thing is is there's literally no other way we could have made that t-shirt he was saying we'd need like to screen print 50 different colors, which is just undoable with screen printing. So you said you could attempt it, like you could do it, but it would take a whole host of work. But it's just not the way technology is moving anymore. The way it is moving is away from the screen printing and to the, not digital printing, but like the, the CAD style. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ink depositing. And it seems to be lasting so much better on the t-shirts as well. Like the uh, the graphic doesn't stretch out as Dara was talking about earlier on in the video. It doesn't crack as much, you know. He did say the uh, style of t-shirt makes a big difference, though. Yeah. To how well things last as well. So it's all like it's all part of it. He um, there's it's a man who's folded many many t-shirts in his time. He's folded a t-shirt or seven. <laughs> yeah. So these are vinyl on the back, and then obviously print on the front. He said that the vinyl is done because it is sharper and you get a clearer image. But yeah, they're the first two t-shirts and then you saw the third one earlier. They look very good. I'm so happy with them. We just really wanted to show you this, you know, because a lot of people don't have the opportunity to show you where your t-shirts come from. Uh, we got to go to the facility. It's literally 15 minutes away from us, 10 minutes away from us. Mm -hmm. It's in our city. Uh, they, he's been in business for over 20 years. So it's something we just really wanted to show you guys where they're coming from you know and give you more of a sense of what you're getting the the authenticness so thanks for watching hope you enjoy <laughs>